Hi, and welcome to Comcast Local Edition. I'm Carolyn Black Sotier. Bishop to c4, queen to f3, queen takes f7, ha, checkmate. This is just some of the lingo that you'll hear at the Math Empowerment Through Chess program. And with me in the studio to tell us more about this exciting, innovative educational approach are two guests. First, I'd like to introduce Vaughn Bennett, who is the Executive Director of the Olympic Chess House. Good yeah. to see you again. Nice to meet you. Nice and you. also Monica Jenkins, who is the Executive Director of the Academic Empowerment Learning Center. Good to have you on the program. Thank you. Good to be here. I know chess is a, is a great game. You are the chess guru of the area. <laughs> what other benefits does chess provide except uh, besides just a good time? Well, chess has been proven to help in increase the academics of math and reading in children K through 12. Um, the American Medical Association has determined that chess assists in help staving off the diseases of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's mm. in our senior citizens. I've even had testimony from some of the children's parents that, whose children are labeled ADHD that receive medicine to go to school each day that they don't give them medicine to come to our chess classes and our chess tournaments. Wow, so there's some real valuable yes. uh, aspects to chess. Th and then there are some additional ones as far as future opportunities that chess can provide to students. Yes, definitely, Carolyn. Um, full and partial scholarships are uh, actually available to chess players um, through 15 different universities in our country. Mm -hmm. um, one of them being the University of Maryland in Baltimore County. Um, oh, right. UMBC, a great chess yes. program. Yes. yes. Right. Terrific. Yes. All right. So I think you have all convinced us pretty easily here that chess is a fun game. It has a lot of benefits. How can people who are watching viewers say, okay, we're convinced, we want to get involved? One of the, the benefits uh, is the critical thinking skill that chess um, brings, um, which is something that's really necessary to pass the standardized test, that, which many states require um, 12th graders to graduate from high school. Okay. Um, so definitely, um, it's really exciting coming together with, with the yes. chess and the math because it allows that growth and development, okay. um, which also the educational advancement. For. So you, you've, you've formed a partnership with yes. the yes. chess program and with mm -hmm. the academic uh, empowerment learning, learning centers. centers. Yes. Okay. Yes. And how does the program work? Well, what we do is we, uh, uh, each chess piece has a relative numerical value. So in order for a child to know who's winning, they have to add and subtract. And mm -hmm. in order to record their games, they must use a combination of alphabets and numbers. Well, all of these things uh, enhance the academic of math, which math power specifically does. I see. Yes. Okay. All right. And one of the things we'd like to do is to, um, which has not been done in the country, is to pre-test and post-test math the math skills of the students coming in, um, and as they're doing the chess classes, then that will show actually the advancement of, okay. and the skills that will be refined. All right, so, so right now you are at the AELC. I know you go out into libraries and into yes. the schools, but the AELC, kids can come after school, yes. right? Yes. Participate in the chess classes, math, yes, the math reading, could, yes, and reading, arts, art, exactly. all of that, okay, so yes. after school. We want to put up some telephone numbers so people can call, because I, I have a feeling, I'm a mother of three sons, and this sounds perfect for them. Yes. <laughs> uh, we want to put up some numbers people can call. We've got up the AELC number, the, the chess number as yes. well, yes. and then also an email address. People can contact you if yes. they'd like more information. Yes, yes that's the metc.chess at verizon.net which METC stands for Math Empowerment Through Chess. Okay, all right. And then there are a lot of other aspects of this. You, right. you take the kids to chess tournaments. Right. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is our children are rewarded, and it's becoming more popular because the children get uh, trophies and medals, but then they're labeled intelligent because smart people play chess. Yes. They do. Yes. <laughs> yes. The very smart people <laughs> play chess. All right, well, we have those. We want to put those numbers up one more time. Yes. We encourage people to call. Um, I know that, you know, again, there's so many benefits, uh, just life skill benefits, as you were talking about, Monica, academic yes. benefits, yes. future benefits for scholarships. It's really a win win kind of um, activity. Definitely. Yes. Yes, All right. Yes, I want to yes, thank you both for being here, Vaughn. Well, thank you. Ben and also us. Monica Jenkins. Thank you right. so much, Ken. Okay. And thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to catch us online, you can log on at www comcastnews.com. Until next time for Comcast Local Edition, I'm Carolyn Black-Sotier.